Hello everybody, my name is Jensen and welcome to Old School RuneScape Challenges episode number 161. I am here with the tan man David, how we doing lad? Yo, how are we doing? How we doing? Boys, make sure you check out the last video on Dave's channel. Absolute bang as always, what can I say? Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Dave is fastly approaching 100,000 subscribers, so make sure you're subscribing oh, okay. boys. Um, he's, he, he wants some plaque uh, and, and not on his teeth. Do you know what I mean, boys and girls? That was such a shit joke. It can't be asked. Rules are going to be on the screen right now. This challenge, this is a sick one, Dave. You're going to like this one, right? So we're going to oh. create a brand new level three account each. Going to make the members, Dave. Always right. interesting. Always accounts. interesting. Always interesting. We're going to get 10k starter GP each. And that's Hello. it. That's all, that's, that's all we get. We're then going to spin a wheel containing a group of different zones around RuneScape. So we've got Ascania, Leviosa, Wilderness, Kandarin, Karamja, Desert, and Mistelin. Right? We're going to get three spins each of the wheel, and that's going to give us three areas each. We've then got to spend our three hours in either of our three zones for as long as we want, Dave. The whole goal is to train our accounts to have the best combat level possible or come up with some kind of strategy dave because we're going to be having a fight at the end of it so you might want to spend three hours training your account up making some money to buy a nice nice item which is going to help win you the fight you get the gist obviously the ge can be used to buy and sell items as needed regardless of what zones you are so you, you are allowed to nip back to the ge dave i'm going to allow that i've also put a note on there no quests will be allowed dave i want this strictly questing is strictly prohibited Use your brain, train your stats, you know what to do, lad, you know what I mean? There's a lot of strategy in this one, so you've got, you've got to plan it out pretty well. I'll also give us a handful of Barok tabs each, Dave, uh, to get back to and from the GE. Just make it a bit easier okay. for us, so so just bear that in mind. That's basically it. Wheel spin time? Spin the wheel. Right, do you want the first spin, Dave, or can I have it? What, what, are, we hey, what are we saying here? You had first spin last time, so I'll have first spin, please. Go on, ready? Yep, go on, spin it. Spin the wheel, baby. Oh, for fuck's sake, I think that's the best one. You've got Kandarin. Kandarin. That's a bit of RD. Bit that's of a, market. That's a bit Couple of you, of gnomes. Is there any gnomes there? There will be when I'm finished. Right, this one's for me. Something good. Don't give me a shit one. Watch me get wilderness or some garbage like that. Asgarnia. Leviosa. Oh, that's all right. I don't even know that's what's there, right. David. <laughs> um, Some dwarfs, I think. Great. Right, next one for you, David. You are going to be getting... Misfilin. I'm pretty sure that's good to be honest with you. My zone, these three are to be honest, pretty shit. <sighs> Wilderness. Oh my god, I'm gonna off myself. I'm literally gonna off myself. Right, Dave, last zone. Have, have I spelled like dessert or desert? I don't even know. Uh you have got dessert, David. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh, no. that means I am left with Karamja with the monkeys and Oh, that's the a dub though, Karamja is. Yeah, but lad, you've got, got misfilling. Pineapples. Uh, pineapples aren't going to win it, me, are they? Idiot. <laughs> what am I going to do? Make, what, what I, shouldn't make... have said that. I shouldn't have said that. What am I going to do? Make pina coladas. <laughs> if you like pina coladas. <laughs> Fellas, how are we doing? It's your boy, Vitoso here. Welcome to this episode. I'm going to stop. Lads, I've got the stuff I need in my inventory. I got the 10k GP, I got the Varak teleports just to get me back to the G if I need to buy and sell stuff. Also got some stamina's because those are allowed. We've only got three hours. It's a short amount of time. I am level three on the old Vertos account. I, th I think I'm going to go with range. I've already decided. I think I'm going to go with range. Obviously, it's the most OP at the early levels. Combat, I'm just not going to be able to get them high enough in three hours. Mage, potentially, but um, I, I feel like the attack speed is a little bit too slow for what we're going with. Obviously, we can't quest, so I'm going to have to do some training now. So with my 10k GP, I'm going to buy myself a cheap little range setup to get my range levels up. And I've just got to try and find a decent training spot somewhere in the Ascania Wilderness Karamja locations. And we'll just see what we can do. Boys, I've spent my 10k GP. Can we just... Can we just admire for one second? Look at my gear setup. I've got the iron knives. I've got the leather body. I've got the leather chaps. Hello, chaps. Also got the cowl. Call me Simon. I'm heading over to my first training spot right now. It's in the Asgarnia zone, right? When I turn up to this place, you're going to be thinking, Jen, are you going to be able to kill these at level three? You know, the, the sheer size of these beasts you're going to be killing. I don't know if you're going to be able to do them at level three. But uh, I'm going to give them my best shot because th these things are going to be killing a, a, a fearless, boys. Absolutely fearless. <laughs> I'm going to be killing seagulls, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe people are subscribed to me. I swear to God, I'm killing fucking seagulls. Absolutely peak. Or should I say, beak? 
Sure I did that, boys? Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my three areas that I'm going to run you through right now. First things first, the name, Dumbledonks. We're going to bonk, but donk sounded like it rhymed with Dumbledore, so I went for Dumbledonks. Because I'm going to get a staff and cast magic spells at Jen. Mage approach. Fastest thing to level, most high hitting thing that we possibly get. So I've got a feeling we're both going to go for a mage approach. That is what I'm doing. Mage. Might have a little secret weapon up my sleeve that I'll tell you about shortly. Mistlin. Got a lot of low combat monsters such as goblins, spiders, barbarians, that kind of thing. Money makers. Can't really see anything there. So that's a bit of a problem on that front. The desert. When I say it's got... Fuck all. I mean it. For me, it's got the agility pyramid, but I can't do it because I need 30 agility, so that's out the list. Kandarin has some... It's mainly got two to three money makers that I can see. Frog legs, hello. Those big worms next to the frog legs, hello. Bowstrings, don't need anything. They sell for a pretty penny. We can do bowstrings. And finally, charter ships. We can buy some stuff there. Chuck them on G, see how much they sell for. And finally, the training in Kandarin. We're going to start off on a low combat monsters. We could even move up to the ogres near Castle Wars. Very, very nice. Three hour time limit. Let's jump straight into the first money maker. First things first, we're going to take this spirit tree over here, which I can't actually use because I haven't done the quest. We're going to use our 10k starter GP and we're going to go to Camelot. We're going to buy five of these. Now, the first sort of like half an hour... Maybe even to the hour, we're just going to money make, get as much money as possible, because then we can just blast out maze training. I want to get a bone dagger poisoned. Because if we can get Jen hitting sixes in conjunction with a recoil, poison him at the start of the fight, which he might predict, so I'm actually going to buy an anti-poison, because he might do the same. You know, a clever man would have bought the uh, passage necklace to teleport just to the uh, bottom of the Grand Tree. But the thing is, lads, I'm clever in my own way. And that's just the way it is sometimes. Adding on to that cleverness, I've just unnoted my stamina and I didn't actually take any out. So I'm now... <laughs> This video is going to be like a, it's going to be a big sort of way up game between actually getting levels for the final fight and also trying to make money. Obviously, the more money we make, the better gear we can have, the more efficiently we can train. But also, the more times we spend making money, the less time we can train. It all comes full circle, boys. It's a little bit stressful. These videos are annoying because like you've got to plan absolutely everything down to a T. And if you don't, you're going to get exposed. You're going to get exposed big time. And I don't want any fuckers in the comment section. Jane, you should have done this. Jane, you should have done that. It is what it is. We're going to do our best. We're not elite PVMers. We're not elite PVPers. We're not elite runescapers. But I am a <laughs> And that is free range. A bit like the bloody eggs I'm getting from these sea... Uh, not even seagulls don't do eggs, do they? Or do they do eggs? They must have... I was thinking more chickens, to be honest. There's 10 range, boys and girls. Hello. Tell you what, boys. I'm going through these knives like a bloody chef on overtime. You know what I mean? I just, oh, 12 HP. Hello. Absolutely rinsing through them. We've only got 70, <laughs> 70. You know, it happens. This happens all the time. I can never get away from this number. Right, boys. We basically used our 200 odd knives. It's managed to get us to like just over 16 range. I'm quite surprised about that and also quite happy. So we'll take that all day long. Now, I'm in Karamja, my second zone. Going to run up and grab some pineapples so I can sell them. As you can see, uh, man is very poor. And yeah, at this point, I just need to find a decent money maker in the zone so that I can generate a bit of money. Uh, because one of my thoughts was the big advantage I've got with my zones is the wilderness. Um, because I have access to the chaos altar. 700% increased experience when I use bones there. So what I am thinking is, is dedicating like a, a decent GP sum to getting my prayer up putting it on dragon bones and getting either 26 prayer for hawkeye that would be about 18 d bones which is around 30k we're going for 44 prayer with the eagle eye which would help nicely in the fight but that's about 170k and 111 d bones so i've got to try and find a decent money maker boys is what i'm saying so i can utilize my areas to the maximum here we are at the motherland right we're going to do three things here one two and three Holy. Okay, we want the toad legs. The toad legs are good. 
Oh my god, look at the money. I've made 10k in one invent, what? We are looking at a total of, oh my god, 192 legs and 103 worms. No idea how much these are going to go for. We are almost half an hour in, so this has taken up a sixth of our time, and we're still one everything, so we really need to get onto the combat training. God. Oh no. Right, 22k. Eight. Oh my god, we've got 105k, man. Um, okay, let's think. For 36 range, I can get Emerald Bolt, which poison, and obviously also Emerald Bolt. And I thought they'd do quite a lot of damage. Um, it'd, it'd be a bit of a push to get 36 as well, just saying. Um, my max hit would only be a 6. A, you heard that correctly, a 6. What are you? An idiot sandwich. So... Magic is still going to be the best option for Dumble Donks, right? 35 gets us Firebolt. That has a max hit of 12 as a base, which is what we're going to be having. And then also, we'll try to get the strength up for a bit of a Bone Dagger action. Right, this is a large portion of our money here. We're also going to take out... Oh my god, I've got 8.5k in my bank as well. I forgot about that. That Yeah, I know what I'm doing is fucking illegal. I know. I've got 100k and Jen's got nothing. He's got nothing! When we finally get to sort of like Firebolt, which is nine magic, we're actually, I know I said Ogres earlier, but I do have Moss Giants as well, and I've checked the drop table, and I think it is better for me to get to kill Moss Giants because they drop Renar seeds and also Snappy D seeds. Zerishian robes, you need 10 defense. Say no more. Right, here we are in Lumbridge. Let's get some defensive casting going. A bronze spear, 1.2 kg value. <laughs> Absolutely huge level coming in here. Fire strike <laughs> has been unlocked. We're now going to move over to the Moss Giants because this spell does hit. I think it hits nines, I believe. I think it does hit nines. Pineapples, gone. 3,400 GP in the bag. Let's go. I'm never saying that again. Right, gang, we're on just under 13k. So the reason why I was doing the pineapples for a little bit is because I want to buy an Amulet of Glory 6. Now, this is going to work with my Moneymaker, which I have found. So the Moneymaker, what I'm going to do is buy a load of baskets, teleport to Karamja, because it's obviously in my zone, fill the baskets up with bananas, and then we sell the baskets of bananas for a tidy profit. Then you want two GP each. Nice and easy. I mean, look at him. You can't believe you make balls out of these things. <laughs> oh, Boys, look at me. Putting bananas in baskets so I can put Dave in a casket. <laughs> right, we've gone and got ourselves 120 baskets of bananas. Please let these sell. They've sold 56k. That's unbelievable. Also, we're going to sell the glory. That's run out of charges. Who said money doesn't grow on trees, boys and girls? You know what I mean? Right, boys. I bought myself about 500 black knives. Also, some upgrades with the gear for when I get 20 range, which is going to be the studded chaps and the bloody coif. Also, going to got 100 trout. Got about 40k left. Need to buy a glory yet. Um, so, what I'm thinking is I need money, obviously, for number one, prayer training, and also to get good gear for the fight. But I also need range levels, so why not combine the two together and get a money-making method which involves me getting my range up? What can I kill in my zones which is going to make me money? Um, hello, druids, chaos, woo! As well, this is something that I'm going to be after. I, th I need, I'm buying it because I need to know if I can equip it. I can, I can, I can hit Jen with this and it'll poison for sixes. And here we are at the Moss Giants. Hopefully I don't get clarted out. We should get a lot of nice XP here. This is going to be our home for quite a while, to be honest. Um, I will have a little nosy around the area, see what the best thing is. But the chance of getting Renan Snap Seeds makes these too good to uh, not really do. 20 magic coming in. Uh, we're actually getting these uh, mage levels quite quick. We've just passed an hour in 
eight defense as well. Two levels to go until we get our little wizard outfit on. Boom, huge level coming in. Ten a defense. I'm a wizard with green hair to match my wizard outfit. 27 mage. Emerald, we can actually enchant some stuff, which no one cares about. Right, ladies and gents, this guy here is literally, this is the second Renar seed that he's left. I'm not going to use it for the video, obviously, because that's cheating. It's like, what, 82k that I'd be using, uh, which technically I didn't get. Um, but I'm not looting other people's stuff. I know it's not technically in their rules. I could do it, but it is a bit harsh on Jen, I think. So, I'm taking him, but I'm not going to use him. I don't know about you, but I can't just sit there and watch a 40k seed disappear. I was raised better than Vegeta 1112. It's not all handed to us, Veg, all right? Why are you getting so many Renarsis, mate? That's the third one, and you're leaving it. I'm taking it. I'm selling it. Who? Why are you getting so many Renarsis? Where are mine? That is the first notable drop we've had in forever. A steel bar, 371 GP. Boom, big milestone, 30 ma We get nothing. Pfft, not much of a milestone then, is it? This guy is doing my head in. How, how, how is he getting so many Renar seeds and I'm getting none? I've got, I picked up four of his Renar seeds. That's 160k and a cult is 249. If these were me, I'd be going to the fight with an occult at this rate. If I do happen to get a Renar or a Snapdragon seed myself, I'm going to put all that money straight onto prayer. Because I could get 27, which isn't going to be many bones. I want to say like 50k worth of dragon bones. That will get us mystic lore. And if you read it, I'm highly anticipating Jen's going to use mage. And it increases my mage defense by 10%. I'm slightly wary though, they're level 13, I'm level 11 with 16 range, but they're not, they don't seem to be hitting me too bad, this isn't actually too bad. 14 HP as well, black knives pick those up, Avento, examine, easy money. There we have 20 ranged, I can't help but think I've been shafted a little bit with my zone because I don't know, I can't really think of like a, a good training spot other than than here in in all of the zones so i don't know whether i'm just being stupid or not while well, we can though let's pick up this dwarf we love that studded chaps coif i am a stud right just done our first invent at the druids let's see how fucking well this went i'd make more money putting bananas in baskets i'm thinking would it be worth me training defense so i can actually have like a decent body for the fight. The thing is, it's not going to matter. Well, it would matter. If Dave was using range as well, then it'd give me some more defensive bonus. Without... I don't know what to do. Surely I just concentrate on DPS. You see, we've only got three hours, so surely DPS is the key. Big update. I am now hitting fours. I repeat, I am now hitting fours. I mean, usually I'm on all fours. <laughs> Getting pegged. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Second invent, I mean, it's just pretty underwhelming to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to do one more trip because that should get me to 30 ranged. Uh, and with that done, I'll then head over to the GE, sell everything, and then we can sort out what's what. 34 magic. We're one level off the uh, the goal and we're one hour 54 minutes in. Um, could be a little bit of a push for 41, but we're going to try. Uh, also, I need to take into account the bone dagger. Obviously, attack increases how often you hit. Strength increases how much you hit. Um, it might come down to me just literally trying to get like 5, 10 attack just at the end. Just just so we secure the hit. So obviously, pots on top of that, maybe super attack. Might be looking at like, I don't know, 15, 17 attack or something. I don't know. One hour, basically two hours on the dot. We've hit 35 mage, which does give us a fire bolt. Just to show you what this bad boy can do. 11 off the bat. You know what I mean. Right, ladies and gents. Luckily for me, I've made about 20k back just from killing him. You right over there, veggie, mate? Yeah? You right over there with your Renal seed number 5? Just like to point out that I'm pretty much killing him at the same amount of speed as a uh, old veggie. Veggie might over here. 37 mage. 4 minutes that took. 25 hit points. Jen's going to have to uh, fight through a lot of health here, lads. 
And here we have 41 magic. I cannot believe I'm saying it, but we have not hit a single Renar Seed or a single Snappy D. We've got a bit of time left now. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, buy my gear set up so I just know how much money I've got to play with. Okay, we got 44k. Let's do this clue. Right, let's hope for some money here. 1.1k, not ideal. Let's get some attack XP. Two attack, love that. Hey, you just reached uh, 100 total. We're going to swap our staff for a staff of air. Then we can sell all these. We can sell the staff for fire. We don't need that anymore. Uh, we're going to just very quickly buy our invent. And then I might just chuck the rest on dragon bones. Right, we've got our dragon bones. I don't think we're going to get much XP here, but let's go for it. Are you doing? I've just realised I've used the wilderness. And it's not in my fucking area. I'm a fucking idiot. I've just completely forgot that the wilderness just isn't even my area, so I've just spent 31k on dragon bones and got 26 prayer. We just won't use prayer in the fight. I'm just stupid. Let's go hit some, uh, get some attack XP for the last 13 minutes. Final level of the video coming in. A five attack. We've got three minutes left. What are you going to do with that three minutes, Dave? Well, I'll let you know if that's all right of everyone. I have a, a spawn for a super anti-poison, which is better than anti-poison. If Jen's clever, he would have picked one of these up, or he would have bought it off GE. Luckily for me, I have a spawn of it. It's worth 44 GP. I might as well have just bought it on the GE, but hey yo, We've even got one crown one left over. This is how we're looking for the fight. We've got... All these crown bands, we don't need combo food. We've got 145 casts of Wimbolt. I hope that's enough. If it isn't, we're in a uh, big trouble. Two recalls to deflect a bit of damage towards Jen. Super attack and strength to go with the bone dagger. Hopefully those attacks make me hit. And a super anti-poison just in case Jen is clever enough to bring her own dagger. That being said, there's the video done. Let's go meet up with Jen. Right, another event done, a lot more success this trip, look at this, three Renars in there, we're absolutely balling, an extra 40k to add to the kitty, meow. Right, there's 30 range, we're going to waste no more time now, we're going to go to the G, sell all the stuff, and see how much money we end up getting. Cheers! 90k in the bank, I think now's about the time where we, we can try and smash out the, um, the prayer levels. I think for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 26, uh, and then continue training range so i can get to 36 for the mithril crossbow because i can then obviously during the fight couple addy knives whack out the mithril crossbow for the ko potential i am c slightly concerned about the hp level i'm not gonna lie it's not it's not great is it really but just over an hour left i should be able to get 36 range and also the the 26 prayer in that time i, I reckon i've got enough time Honestly, whoever came up with this update is an absolute G, mate. Swear to God, it's so fucking good. When we have to used to go in people's houses if you didn't have the construction level, and you get people not lighting the burners. Oh, God. Well, I actually got slightly over because my last two bones seem to last an absolute century. So let's kill ourselves here, and off we go. Right, with our money, we've gone and bought a load more black knives. I didn't want to buy mithril because they're way too expensive. Upgraded to the combat bracelet, as you can see. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna kill some more care streets. I've had a look to see whether there's like some other kind of like training method I could do a different spot Which is gonna be a bit quicker XP But I can't find anything in my zones lads. I've just been pretty shafted to be honest with you Right just finished the last invent at chaos Druids. as you can see I'm only about 500 XP off 36 which is the target level uh, I've only got about five minutes left. So I don't really have time I don't want to waste time running back all the way to chaos Druids. So I'm just gonna rinse off some of these guards quickly just to get the level there we have it, boys and girls. 36 range. I'm not even going to finish him off. We are done, Ski. Let's head over to the GP. I'm going to sell my remaining black knives as we're going to get those upgraded for the fight and the rest of my herbs and stuff. This is going to be big money here, boys. Right, we've got 85k. I've already got a lot of the stuff I need, so I'm just going to buy, obviously, the parts, the food, uh, and obviously, like, the, the upgrades to the gear. Lads, this is our current setup. We're rocking the orange boat, here, right? I could obviously wear the coif, but it's like one range bonus, lads. I'm not arse whatsoever. I, I look fucking sick with the orange cape matching. Uh, got the combat bracelet on, the glory. I've then gone for mithril knives and then the gear switch 
Emerald Bolts Enchanted for the Myth Crossbow. I can actually max a 13 with these bolts, so uh, I didn't buy Poisoned Mithril Knives either because obviously uh, the Enchanted um, Special Effect is a poison which poisons for five so um makes more sense to do that recoils boys we're ready and set not gonna lie to you i'm pretty confident unbelievable right dave i'm in level six wilderness north of g i'm waiting for you also for the guys watching we have had a gentleman's agreement that we're not going to use anti-poisons just to make the fight a little bit more interesting dave that's fair enough isn't it it is uh, i'm assuming we've both gone for the same setup here we're not stupid dave we're not stupid well Jen, I'm coming in. Attack on site. Attack on site. Attack Goals on site. Attacking on site. Calls are attacking on site. Bet you, I bet you got a little, little scrubby setup, haven't you? Thank you. What is that? Here we go. Oh, he's got the bone dagger. He's got the bone dagger. I'll tell you what, I wasn't expecting them knives. A blue right crossbow, of course he has. Mithril, mate. Myth blue right. Right, come on. The, I went for this because it, it's like numbers. I mean, D eyed. No, yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, you got them knives, but I've got a recoil, so you kind of done yourself. Yeah, I'm getting pumped here, to be honest with you. See you later. That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> There's no way I've died that quickly. There's no way I've died that quickly. What did you hit then? Jen, it don't matter what I hit, Jen. It's the combinations. I know the combo's coming. I just wait for it. I wait for it to happen. Hope I lost that when I've got the best gears up in the game. <laughs> right, boys. Since I lost the video, uh, the forfeit for this is to go to PvP World with my PKing account, try and find a fight, and I'm going to have a 3 million GP risk death fight. If I win, obviously, I don't lose any money. If I lose, I lose three mil, Dave. So there you go. Yeah, well, that's that's, that's life, Jen. <laughs> I'm looking around, Dave. Uh, I've tried everywhere. I cannot find anyone within the level, which is a bit of a pain. To be honest, I don't really wake up as a level 27 think, right, I'm going to go see what <laughs> feasts are no, out but today. I'm thinking obby maulers. Like, surely there's some like obby maulers in like the lower 30s, but I've not seen one everywhere i've been well your only other option is you fight me again with your three mil like that's that is literally what you can do yeah but then you get the satisfaction of then beating me and then also getting three mil if you can't get jen if you can't get a fight i'll step in go on let's right go let's on. do it then because i want redemption i want redemption for the for the last fight that's a Do good shout actually if you want the smoke you can have smoke let's have the smoke i want the smoke here he comes man. three million gp on me dave Jay, you might have three mil, but you've also got a mistake. You know what that mistake is? The same mistake as last time. Them knives on my recoil. No, it's fine. It's going to work in my favour this time. You could have had I'm me gonna, then. I, gonna... I actually was 30 I know. You could have had me then. I know. I'm, I'm playing it safe. That's, that's the only chance you're going to get. Dude, you want it at 30 now, at 30 as well. That's the way so it works. Often? Oh, look at that. Why does that again, hit son? so often? And again, son. Yeah, this is this is way too intense. Oh, 28 health. Oh, that's a rip point for you to it. <laughs> Did you say grats? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Lad, if I didn't eat, I was gone. You must be looking a bit low by now, surely. No, I've got loads of food. Watch this. Into the KO. <laughs> Insult to injury. Salt in the wounds. I was out anyway. Why is relevant? Why is relevant ninety two trying to take your iron kite? I sure it's at the recoil off in there. Boys, thank you very much for watching this episode of All Screen Escape Challenges. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, uh, and just watching, boys. But just what watching. Account, what account you on there, Dave? You tell me. Oh, we'll have to see you next time, boys. Bye. <laughs>